So one of the most important things that you still have to pay attention to is your sleep because it doesn't matter how much you exercise, it doesn't matter what kind of food you eat, it doesn't matter how, how long you fast. If your sleep sucks, then everything else in your life will also begin to collapse almost. Sleep is the period where your body recovers itself and it's the period where your brain cleanses itself as well and it removes a lot of the waste material and all of the toxins that you accumulate during the day and it's going to lower the stress. So if you don't get enough uh, deep quality sleep, then you're not, you're not actually going to clean out your body either and you're not going to recover. And you can also argue that if, you, if, you, if your sleep quality sucks or if you suffer from a circadian mismatch, then you're not going to trigger autophagy either because autophagy is very much uh, also connected to the clearance of these toxins inside your brains, like beta amyloids that are associated with Alzheimer's and uh, things like that. So if you don't sleep or if you have poor sleep, then you're not going to even gain the health benefits of fasting either almost, at least the ones related to autophagy. You will definitely may lose some weight and uh, improve your insulin sensitivity, but you're not necessarily going to uh, clean out the toxins with autophagy. I can't sleep. Another thing that is uh, really important is to ensure that fasting isn't going to get in the way of your sleep quality. You still uh, expose yourself to the natural circadian rhythms during the day, uh, mainly mainly being exposed to natural sunlight, getting uh, like movement, daily movement, and not being sedentary in closed environments. And definitely at night, it's very important to block yourself from blue light, like the one is that is shining into my face at the moment. But uh, I'm still like a few hours away from uh, the the evening, so I still have, have like a buffer zone. So that's one of the uh, one of the most critical aspects, make, making sure that you get quality sleep and that you stick to the circadian rhythm, despite how what kind of fasting you're doing, because it's not going to cure it. Like a circadian mismatch will be much more detrimental than uh, than anything else. Body, mind empowerment. Get stronger, faster, smarter, quicker, friendlier, more helpful, more driven. Everything the body needs. Control your mind.